Hello, hello, hello everyone. Sorry we are a little bit late, but we are here and we are ready to go. Um, we are here in Uluwatu, in this beautiful resort called Suaraga, which means heaven in Indonesian, which is beautiful. We are in this beautiful heaven. So welcome, happy International Yoga Day to all of you lovely ladies out there and all you yogis, yoginis. To celebrate International Yoga Day, we are doing this beautiful sunset Sunday yin and yoga nidra here in the beautiful Uluwatu in Bali. So welcome, I'm gonna transport you here with me today. Um, slowly, hopefully you're all starting to join me. You won't need much for your class today. All you need is your yoga mat. If you do have a cushion or a pillow or something that you are able to use for support, then I would get that. It doesn't have to be um, anything fancy. It can just be a cushion from your bed or from your sofa. If you do have a bolster, you can use a bolster. But that is pretty much all you will need for this practice today. At the end of the class, we will also move into a yoga nidra. And for that, all you need is maybe a blanket or something to cover your eyes if you, if, if you wish. So this practice is to help us prepare us for a beautiful night's sleep. You can practice this, of course, if this is your morning, good morning or afternoon or evening, but it is for um, preparing the body for sleep and for de-stressing the body as well, releasing any anxiety, stresses, um, and whatever we may hold in our body that we need to let go of. As you can see, the sun is going to be setting behind me as we go through this practice, which is going to turn into a beautiful sunset here in Bali today. There is not a cloud really to be seen around us as a couple. Beautiful blue skies and I hope you enjoy your yin class today. So in our yin classes, we'll be holding the poses up to three minutes. We want to try and really slow the body down, focus on releasing, focus on our breath and letting go. So shall we begin? Hopefully a lot of you are here now with me um, and we can start the class. So we're actually gonna start in a standing pose. So we're gonna work our way down onto the mat. So come up into a standing position and make sure I don't lose my microphones on me today so that you can hear me. Hopefully you can all hear me fine. So we're going to come into a standing position and take the feet hip distance apart. Draw the shoulders back and let's just open our practice here, standing up. So feet grounding down to the earth. Roll your shoulders back, drop the arms down by your side. And just take a moment here to breathe in. And exhale out through the mouth, maybe a sigh or a release. And again, take a beautiful deep breath in. And exhale out through the mouth. And one more time, taking a wonderful deep breath in. And exhaling out through the mouth. Standing strong and tall here in this position. Feeling the earth beneath us. Allowing the spine and the body to be nice and long and tall with the crown of the head open to the sky above us. Gently bring your hands into your heart center, touching your palms together. And just breathing into your intention for this practice. Whatever your intention may be, maybe to slow down, to soften, to release and to relax. And then offering up, dedicating your practice to someone you love, 
offering your practice up, sending your energy out, practicing bhakti yoga, yoga of devotion, of giving back. Take another deep breath in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. And bend your knees as we come down into our first yin pose, which is dangling pose. So bend the knees, relax through the head, taking opposite elbows and just completely releasing down. Nod the head, yes and no if you like. Take opposite elbows or if you like, you can just have your arms coming down towards the floor. You just completely let go and relax here. And we're going to be here for three minutes. pose is grounding you, it's working the lower back and the spine, also helps to massage the abdominal organs, and the meridian lines here of the kidney, the stomach, the spleen are compressed and detox. There's a true connection inwards to stillness. The knees can always be bent if you need to, but over time, you can maybe see if you can straighten the legs a little. So each time in yin, we don't move into pain or discomfort, but we go into a little bit into that stretch. And over time, we feel that point of resistance and we know that we can gently start to move deeper into it. Breathing here, noticing if you can ever go in a little deeper. One minute remaining here. Last five breaths. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth and just gently take your hands down to the floor. Walk your feet back a little and lower down onto the knees. Lower yourself down, point through the toes, take the knees out to the side and we find our way into a child's pose. Now drop yourself down completely into the child's pose. Any variation, maybe you use your hands as a cushion or a pillow. Maybe you have that bolster going in between your legs or if you have any problem within the knees, you can take the bolster in between the thigh and the calf to help yourself lower down. We're here in this rebound pose for two minutes. Staying in your child's pose. Two minutes here. Just to tune into the breath and the body and to notice that releasing energy from the dangling pose that we did before. Child's pose is good for calming the nervous system, lowers the stress hormones by activating 
the parasympathetic nervous system. It's a perfect way to rest and restore the body, preparing it for sleep, going deeper into relaxation. One more minute remaining here. Last five breaths. Inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Slowly, slowly lift yourself up. Come up onto all fours. Slide your right knee into the center. Take your right knee out to the right and allow your right foot to softly come up a little bit, preparing for a pigeon pose or fallen swan. Round your back foot into the mat and slowly walk your leg away. Walk it away so that your left leg is nice and long behind you. If you need support, place something underneath your right sitting bone. Maybe you need support out in front of you, placing something out in front of you to have that resting space there. And lower ourselves down into this fallen swan. We are here for three minutes. So allow the breath to softly and steadily release you deeper into this space. Maybe over time you go in a little deeper. Taking your time, not rushing here. Here we tap into the meridian lines of the liver and gallbladder. The spleen, the stomach, kidneys, and urinary bladder. It's an external rotation in the front of the leg. And this pose helps us also keep a healthy and happy spine releasing tension in that lower back, any tightness that we hold in the back of the leg, in the glutes. Use your breath to soften yourself deeper into that space. Last five breaths. Inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. You can choose here if you want to rebound on your back 
or maybe on your stomach if you're rebounding on your back you roll over and lie onto your back if you're rebounding in your stomach slide your right leg back behind you and lower down drop yourself down into your rebound taking just one minute here in between sides So we use these rebound times to notice the effect of what that pose had on our bodies. So close the eyes and tune inwards. Notice how you feel. Notice what's moving on, what's moving around the body. Five more breaths here in this rebound. Take a beautiful deep breath in. And exhale out, slowly lift yourself up from your rebound. If you are on your back, lift up. We're going to bring the left knee out to the left and slide the left foot up into the center and slightly out to the right. Ground your right toes into the mat and walk yourself away. Walk that right leg away. And then lower yourself down into your fallen swan on the left side. Remember, if you need that support, taking that block or bolster underneath your left glute. Arms out in front of you, or maybe you have a support out in front of you. And then softly dropping yourself down into that space. Taking your time, remember that the left might be different from the right. Breathing yourself into this left side and maybe noticing if there is any difference from the right. Notice how it feels. Notice what you're feeling. Last five breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth and then slowly, slowly coming out and into that rebound again. You can choose if you want to be on your back or maybe you're sliding that left leg back and coming down onto your front. Completely releasing down for that rebound space. And see if you can surrender down for that rebound, completely release, let go and relax.
If you are rebounding on your stomach, you're gonna very slowly start to lift yourself up and roll over onto your back, meeting the rest of us here. You can still have your legs long or legs bent. We have another minute here in our rebound. Remember to be completely still. Notice what arises, what comes up, breathe into it. And then just simply let it go. Not holding on to anything. Five more breaths here. Inhaling through the nose. And exhale, maybe letting out a sigh. Bending your knees, place your feet flat on the floor. Take the soles of your feet together and just simply let your knees fall out to the side for Supta Baddha Konasana. Now here, if you like, you can take two uh, bolsters, pillows or cushions underneath your knees if it's too much for your um, hips to open up this wide. If not, you can just allow gravity to do its thing and allow yourself to be fully open here to receiving this energy. If you like, you could take your arms out nice and wide or maybe over your head, wherever feels natural to just open up here and surrender. Closing your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out, completely melting into this pose. This pose helps to release any tension or tightness that we hold in the hips. Any emotions that we hold here as well are now free to be released and let go. We often suppress negative feelings and stress and all is held here in this area of the hips, of the groin. So just allowing yourself at the end of the day to be completely open, fully releasing. Just allow all of that negativity, all of that stress, that anxiety to be released.
Last five breaths. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Slowly take just behind the legs and gently bring your knees in. Slowly, slowly close the legs. Lengthen the legs away from you one at a time and come into this rebound. Some of you may wish to take your knees into your chest. Maybe a little massage of the spine. Again, rebounds are completely up to you. Maybe feet down and knees touching wherever you feel comfortable, wherever you feel like you are safe and you can just completely surrender down. Very gently start to bring your knees up in towards your chest. Hold your knees in, take the arms out to the side and gently drop your legs over towards the right side for a nice deep twist. If you want to take the twist a little deeper, you can wrap the left knee or left leg around the top of the right into twisted roots, but you can also just keep the knees together if you wish. It's detoxing the body completely, the spine, the digestive system, everything is getting a nice rinse out here. Imagine a towel, and you're rinsing out the water is what we're doing here with the spine, with the body in these twists. Releasing the day that we've had, preparing us for this beautiful night's sleep. Release and let go of anything else that you're still holding on to.
in your life here and And then slowly lift your legs back up into the center. Take a moment here, maybe massage the spine with the hands resting on the knees. Dropping the legs down towards the ground, sliding your feet away from you and taking the arms out nice and wide to the side. Melt your body down as you take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, let out a sigh through the mouth. <sighs> and then again, take a beautiful deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. One more deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. If you have anything that you want to use or prepare for your no yoga nidra, maybe taking a blanket over you, maybe something over your eyes, So that you are and when you're ready just allow your body to release down so be lying down on your bed or your floor with a blanket or something covering you if you need maybe placing a pillow under your head or a cushion under your knees and take a moment to allow your body to settle. Completely let go, release and relax. Relax the body completely and release any effort. Breathe in and breathe out. Start to center yourself. And notice what you can hear around you. What sounds you can hear within this space that you're in, within this room. Heighten your awareness completely. And notice what sounds you can hear that are further away. Notice what you can hear outside this room. Sounds you didn't even know you could hear. Expand outwards. Now draw that awareness in towards yourself. To your whole body. and feel into your body completely and effortlessly. Notice without any judgment if there are still areas of your body that feel stuck or rigid. And with every breath, 
Allow those areas to soften and feel your whole body as it becomes more and more relaxed. You are now at ease, peaceful, and open. Nourish this feeling and let it grow. Let the feeling of serenity expand and send peace throughout your entire body. Bring attention to the back of your body, to every point of your body that is connecting to the earth beneath you. Let go and allow the earth to support you. You are safe. You are grounded. And you are connected. Feel the feet melt down, the back of your legs, your two sitting bones, your lower back, middle back, and upper back. The back of your arms, your shoulders, neck and the heaviness of your head as you completely let go. Bring your attention now to the front of your body and to your heart center. Focus on the sensation of your beating heart. What is it that your heart desires? Plant your intention as a small seed within your heart. Based on what your heart is longing. This is your Santosha. Repeat it three times to yourself within your mind. Now from this intention, watch a bright white light glow from your heart center. This is a healing light burns away darkness that we carry. As we scan the body each time, you bring your awareness to a specific body part. Let this light illuminate it, destroying any negativity and creating space for love. Start to bring the light and awareness to your face and see it light up. Relax and let go of your forehead, your eyes, cheeks, mouth and tongue. Release your jaw, your throat. your neck. Allow that light to shine on your right shoulder, melting it down. It moves down to your elbow and down to your right wrist. Relax the palm of your hand and all of your fingers. Relax the whole of your right arm.
Relax your right collarbone, your left collarbone. And now the light shines onto your left shoulder. Your left hip moves down to your left knee and down to the left ankle over the top of the left foot and all of your left toes. The whole of your left leg is completely relaxed. Now the, sh the light shines to your root chakra right at the base of your spine and turns into a beautiful glowing red. Feel it move up to just below your belly button, below your navel and now shines a beautiful orange. The light moves up to your solar plexus and shines a bright sunshine yellow. It moves up to your heart center and shines a beautiful bright green. It moves up to your throat center the blue color shines through and out through the throat. Moves up to the third eye. The beautiful indigo shines through the third eye. Into the crown of the head. magical white light shining from the crown of your head illuminating and spreading across your whole body see the light inside and out and every place that this light touches a piece of you heal Breathe in and breathe out. And now bring your awareness to the breath and to the flow of the breath. Noticing how it flows effortlessly in and out. Feel your whole body breathing, entering and leaving like a wave, hear the ocean around you and feel the wave wash over you as you breathe in and return back to the ocean as you breathe out, cleansing your body, the healing powers of the ocean heal you as you visualize and hear the sounds of the waves around you. The wave washes over you as you breathe in and returns back to the ocean as you breathe out. Inhaling and exhaling. Moving in and moving out.
Now you can either stay here if this is now the end of your practice and you wish to just go to sleep, then you're more than welcome to just stay here. If you're starting to move and move into the rest of your day, moving your fingers and your toes. Stretch your arms and your legs and bring your knees into your chest. Gently roll to one side and when you're ready, lift yourself up. And as I said, if you wish to stay lying down, then please do not rush. Stay where you are. If you are lying down, take your left hand to your heart and your right hand on top. You can do the same seated if you like, or you can take the hands together in prayer. Completely up to you, as we just will take a moment of silence to feel into our bodies. And to thank ourselves for this practice, for dedicating up this hour towards connecting into our minds, our bodies, feeling into our breath giving ourselves what we need and deserve. And if you're continuing this day, take this amazing energy, this beautiful energy that you have created off of this mat and keep it close by, sharing it with everyone you need. Thank yourself for this practice. Thank the amazing women around you that have held this space moved and breathed with you this afternoon and thank you always for sharing this practice with me. Namaste. Thank you everybody for joining me today. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you with me. Happy International Yoga Day and have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste and see you very soon.